All right, let's get together with Riley and Michael Roach, who's the technical rep from the company that's made our How box bay window. How are you? Very good, thank it's you. It's a beauty. Now, thank what you. is it made out of? What kind of wood? Ponderosa pine. Good, so you don't have yep. to worry about any imperfections in that. Not at all. And then we've got a beautiful picture window. Tell me how it's made. Well, this is authentic divided light insulated glass. Each pane of glass is an insulated unit. Mm -hmm. It's uh, made up of two panes of glass and a low E coating. Mm -hmm. How does that work? The low E coating reflects radiant heat uh, to the exterior in the summer, to the interior in the winter. It also reduces ultraviolet rays. So you do have an R factor associated with this glass, right? That is correct. We also have an argon gas in the airspace, a non-toxic gas that affects the heat and cold transfer. So what is the R factor? 2.89. Not bad. That's better than wood. And then, of course, at either side, we've got uh, double hung sash. That is correct. Both mm -hmm. sash operate. Go up and down. Again, individual pieces. Mm -hmm. Michael, approximately how much is this window? It retails at approximately uh, just under $2,000. Yeah, it's almost like adding on a room. Riley, what's yeah. the first step in installing it? The first thing we want to do is take out our existing patio door, Bob. OK, so any tips on how to take this setup apart? Yes, well, uh, Bob, the first thing we want to do is take the uh, hinge pins out of the door so we can get the active door out of the frame. And remove some of the weight. Get some of the weight off of it, right. All right, now, the frame for this uh, patio setup is, what is it, nailed into the stud walls? Yeah, that's what these folks did. They just uh, nailed it in with some galvanized uh, common nails. And you've already got them a little bit uh, loose Get so them that you started. can just yank them. So Okay, well, the, the installation of the box bay is going to be integral with the new deck, the replacement backyard deck. And what we've already got in place are four footings. As you can see, these concrete footings are poured in sauna tubes, and there's a fastener on top. They go down four feet. And we're going to use the two that are back closest to the house as our primary supports for the box bay. Right. What do you figure that thing weighs? I would say it weighs about uh, 350, 400 pounds. Is that with the roof we're going to build on? Uh, uh, well, yeah, with the roof, it's probably even more. Yeah, five or 600. So this is just temporarily being tacked into place. Right. This is uh, using some this strapping. Is, uh, looks, this is, looks pretty good. And then the horizontal piece, or the header, is, is that it, around? Yeah, it's right around the corner. That's another go. four by six. There we go. And this forms our basic structure for uh, supporting this whole And this system. is all just being tacked together right now, right? Yes. What size what? nails are we using? This is a uh, eight penny uh, galvanized common. And again, they're and just tacking and holding it together temporarily. Once the right. whole structure is built, then it'll be quite, quite sturdy. What's the next right. step, Riley? Well, the next thing for us to do is uh, frame this little stud wall right in here where the patio door used to be. Okay, so this section of wall is exactly the same height as our structure outside here. Right, that's and right. And we'll just spike it into place with 16 penny nails. Yep, it goes right where the existing frame does. All right, now this other section acts as a tabletop to receive the box bay. That's right. And we'll just Give it nail nice, it in place. Nice sturdy area. Okay, and now we'll put in some rigid insulation. Thanks.
Philip. Michael, thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate lot. it. Okay, we'll take a look from the inside shortly. We're going to break for some messages. When we come back, we'll be on the island of Nantucket.